Hello everybody, what is up, Prop Toast here, and today I'm going to be showing how you can use Samsung Dex on your Note 9 for just $11 with this little adapter. And I will be putting this link in the description below. It's basically easy, about like 11 bucks. It's probably cheaper, I'll, like I said, I'll put it in the description, so if you guys want to check it out, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and unbox it, then we're going to go ahead and just connect it and show you how easy it is. It's pretty simple. For the most part, all it is is plug and play into the TV. It doesn't charge your device or nothing, but all that, pretty easy. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so here we are with our little adapter right here. So this is gonna be just a basic USB-C to HD TV cable. Um, when you do plug this in, of course, Samsung's gonna go, hey, you know, this DeX works a lot better if you use a genuine DeX cable, which pretty sure it's most likely the same thing unless the dex cable actually charges at the same time which who knows it might but anyway so let's go ahead and take a look around the package uh we got some basic stuff shows look you can connect your macbook which yeah you can I haven't even tested trying to do a laptop with it but i'm pretty sure if you would have just put in your thunderbolt port and all that it will work just fine so this does claim it works for the tab s the s8 s8 plus and note 8 and hp and all that stuff uh, great stuff but it does actually work with the Note 9 still so I mean I don't see why it wouldn't. It has an aluminum tray and all that, it has a decent length so let's go ahead and open up this little guy. So it's pretty basic. All you're pretty much going to do is just open this up a little bit. We're greeted with our little dongle here with our nice Chinese plastic. Like I said this is definitely a Chinese item so it's not like super gigantic high quality but it's actually pretty nice. So we got our little adapter right here, it's all aluminum, they made sure to make it bold that hey, hey, this could this could do 4K man. I don't know if I would need to try something out that's specifically 4K just to see if it actually does it. But other than that, it's not too bad. It just sits there and you have your HDMI plug and USB-C here. So let's go ahead and you know actually connect this to the TV and see how it works all right so for this I'm just basically going to use my Xbox cable because it's already connected to the TV so we're just going to go ahead connect this guy right in there then after that we're going to take our phone we'll go ahead and unlock it real quick if I do that just plug it into our charging port right here and then of course it's going to go ahead and Give you the whole spiel. Tap here to use Dex. Use genuine Dex, blah blah blah. Other than that, not bad. And as you see, with connecting it, it's already basically put itself straight onto the TV like that. So if we want to use our touchpad, we could just sit there and select that. Then boom, you could either use it this way or this way. It doesn't really matter. It's going to work either way for you. So let's go ahead and check out how this actually works and looks on the TV. Alright, so as you see here, we got our full desktop set up. As you see, we got our screen working as the mouse right here, so that's pretty easy. I mean, if you want to, you could probably find a USB, I'm sorry, not USB, I mean a Bluetooth mouse or keyboard and just use it like that, so it's like its own full little computer. But other than that, definitely pretty cool. We got our like little indication bar, we got our battery strength, we got all our alarms and our, our Bluetooth that are on. You can sit there and if you want to, you can sit there say hey I want to search up an app and everything uh, let's just do I don't know if I were to search up YouTube you would see it right pop up right there and everything but other than that pretty easy uh, we got our whole apps tray right here which you can sit there and use your finger to sit there and actually move around or you can use a double finger to actually go through and swipe through half your apps and everything so definitely pretty cool um, internet actually looks pretty nice on here to tell you the truth you can have it like that we can sit there and full screen this if we want to we could open up uh, new tabs and all that basically keep doing all that so you can pretty much use it like a desktop kind of browser and everything and then you got all your Google apps and all that so definitely pretty cool uh, this actually and then if you want to left click on here you can just sit there and double tap your fingers I can sit there and go over here, I can sit there and set wallpapers, so I can sit there and go, okay, hey, I want to use this one, just for my home screen, and then set his wallpaper, and then boom, you're good. And you can set whatever pictures you want, it doesn't have to be any of their little default ones. So as for over here, you can sit there and easily get into your files, all your images and all that, 
Um, if we can even multitask, which is definitely pretty cool. Like if I could find, let's say, I want to go. Okay, I didn't want to open that. See, so it's a little tricky trying to use a screen, especially if it gets any smudges. So let's say I want to do, uh, I don't know, say open up Instagram. Now Instagram isn't uh, fully optimized for this, so it is gonna, you know, kind of run in this. But I can sit there and set this off to the side. I can sit there and go, huh? What else do I want to browse? I can go. Let's see if I can find Twitter. No, I didn't want to open Messenger. Hold on. Sorry, like I said, it's a little smudgy on the screen, so sometimes I can get a little weird. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's say I want to open up Twitter. Twitter's a little bit more optimized. I can actually legitly full screen this if I want to and just, you know, browse Twitter and all that. So definitely pretty cool, but we can go ahead and just kind of set this off to the side. Sit there and move this over here. If I want to, I could sit there and say, uh, what else do I want to do? I don't know, let's do YouTube at the same time. So as you can see, you can legitly just like literally multitask with half of these apps. You can also sit there and go over here, full screen YouTube and all that. So pretty easy, not gonna lie. So let's say I want to close this back up. Uh, let's say something like, I think another app that's not, which I don't know why it's not, but is Netflix for whatever reason. Let's see if I can find it right here. Netflix is not full screen optimized. It is basically just your normal, you know, phone viewing of it. So that's the only kind of downside to this. But as you can see, I can kind of have quite a few apps open at the same time. So definitely not bad, and let's say, hey, I got too much crap open, I need to, you know, clear this up. You can just go to it like you would if you're on phone, close all your apps, and then boom, you're good. Now as for doing games on this, uh, it's not super the best and everything, because a lot of these apps are not, you know, actually optimized to play games on the Samsung Dex. So let's say I wanted to play like, I don't know, Kingdom Hearts. It's gonna show up like that, but you can't make the screen any bigger, and pretty much I don't think it's gonna work well, but let's see. Also, the sound comes from the phone on this one. But let's just see for the heck of it, it'll fit'll work. I think it'll mostly, for the most part, still work. It's just gonna be a little bit difficult. You might be able to pull it off of an actual mouse. Let's wait for our game to load real quick, so yeah, we're gonna get our notices. So we get through all the stuff, I forgot how much freaking pop-ups this thing has. Yeah, yeah, I don't wanna buy your shit, Kingdom Hearts. But as you can see, for the most part... Yeah, I don't wanna join a party, go away, man. Yeah, so, so yeah, so in other words, you can still kind of walk around, do stuff. I can sit there and go into my quest and for the most part, still do stuff. But like I said, it's not really fully optimized for this one and stuff. We got, let's sit there and say we want to do Google Maps. I think this one actually should work out pretty well. So as you can see, we can sit there easily, browse the maps, we can sit there... Like if you actually say you want to type something, you want to search something up, as soon as you click on that, keyboard's going to fully come up on your phone, so you can just type up uh, on like Burger King and stuff, but oh, there it is, find it, search it up, and then you can easily see everything right there on your screen. So pretty nice, definitely works pretty well. So there are, like I said, it's kind of a hit and miss with some of these apps. Um, it's kind of like, hey, some of these might work great, some of these might work horrible. Who knows? But anyway, so yeah, that's definitely pretty nice. Um, I would try out the music players, but I don't want to try accidentally playing music and getting copyrighted. Now, one other thing I did not try out on this is, just for the hell of it, let's see the camera. So as you can see, actually, surprisingly, we can still kind of, you know, see ourselves, which actually isn't too bad. Uh, let's see if we can actually full screen this. Oh yeah, well, what do you know? Look at that. It doesn't quite go into landscape mode with this, but other than that, it's okay. Um, actually, I guess you could use this for video calls. Let's see. Oh wait, we can actually... 
So we can sit there and do this DI. Like I said, the only downside is is that it only goes, you know, vertical like this. As you can see, we can get our infinite screen going on right here. Which is definitely trippy as shit, but yeah, so... Definitely pretty cool. I could actually see this being useful for, you know, freaking if you want to do like a video chat like with Skype or something like that. Definitely pretty cool. So like I said, there are um, definitely some apps that will and will not work. Um, just for the hell of it, let's try uh, Hulu just to see if that'll actually... Let's see, Hulu can't run. So okay, so apparently Hulu just straight up can't run on deck. So. That's another one we're not going to be really able to use, but other than that, we can sit there and go into our settings, we can sit there and do our normal stuff like, say I want to do device maintenance, I can open that right up right there, do all that, definitely pretty cool. So you can pretty much, for the most part, use this like, almost like pretty close to a regular desktop, you can make calls, respond to text, and all that. Alright folks, so there you have it, um, like I said, that's a pretty easy solution on turning your Note 9 into pretty much a nice little... PC like system and everything so like I said um, definitely the screen takes some getting used to with controlling some of the stuff uh, it can either be you know super smooth or sometimes if it's not clean enough it can kind of stick and be hard and everything to actually you know get stuff to move around but I mean if you really want to if you're planning on using this for a whole desktop experience or maybe just something quick on the go then you can pretty much pick up like a, a basic Bluetooth mouse or keyboard I think for like 11 and 12 bucks each so I mean it's not too bad but other than that yeah like I said a pretty easy solution even if you just want to mess around with decks you don't plan on using decks for like a long term because I know it came out when I had the Note 8 or the one that actually came out with the S8 but I just I wasn't looking to spend over 100 bucks on a dock that pretty much I might use here and there and stuff so this is definitely 11 dollars is definitely a nice little thing and you can also, on top of using this for Samsung decks, you can also mirror your whole screen. So if you wanted to actually, you know, play full games, like you literally legitly play, if you want to do Fortnite, if you want to do Kingdom Hearts like I was doing, or any other asphalt racing and stuff, you can play that on your big 55 inch TV and it'll look pretty, actually, pretty damn nice. And almost be like, hey, look at that, it's like a little console. Oh yeah. So yeah. Anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'll be leaving the link for this one below along with the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So if you guys do want to do a quick little setup with this, um, you can definitely do that. So as always, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And also be sure to slap a like on this video because it definitely does help out a bit. And as always, I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later.